NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Marissa, speaking of snow, we are in for some. I know a lot of ski resorts are going to be really excited, but we also got to watch out on the roads and for, you know, some interesting conditions to say the least. Oh, for sure. I think tomorrow morning when we're expecting most of the snow to fall, it'll definitely be tricky. So if you're heading out early, give yourself some extra time. I also wouldn't be too surprised if we ended up seeing some maybe school delays and school closures with this too. Hey, speaking of Sugar Bush and its opening day, a little over three inches of fresh snow there at the Mid Mountain Snow Stake. This is about 3,100 feet up. So elevation wise, it was dependent with some of the snow showers we had yesterday, but no more snow falling down at this hour. But I wanted to point out this is the Alberta Clipper that we've been talking so much about. It, of course, originates in Alberta, Alberta Canada, and then makes its way off and it moves rather quickly. That's the kind of key thing with this. That's where the word clipper comes from because it comes through and clips on out of here quickly. We're starting to see some of those increasing clouds. We saw the sunny camera there in Brattleboro. Well, that'll change in the next, say, 30 minutes to few hours or so. We're already starting to see a couple snowflakes popping up, especially in the St. Lawrence River Valley. We're not expecting any huge impact of these very light snow showers, but don't be too surprised if you see some snowflakes coming down in places like Malone and Potsdam. And we'll show you what it looks like into the next few hours here because we'll really start to see it fill in, especially into the evening hours. I do think by 10, 11 o'clock tonight, the snow does become widespread. There is a downsloping effect with the snow, so that's why we have lesser amounts happening in the Champlain Valley, but some steady snow falling in central and southern Vermont, and it is pretty persistent in this area, especially south of Route 4, so I do think that's where our totals will be the highest. Of course, the Northeast Kingdom gets into it too as well as the Adirondacks. So this is what it looks like by Thursday afternoon. Starting to see kind of a lull in the action and start to see some of the snow showers break up, but then it picks up again, especially for the Adirondacks and the Northern Green Mountains into Thursday night and a couple of sh snow showers left over by Friday morning in the Northeast Kingdom. So I do think some roads, even Friday morning, may be a bit dicey at times. We'll break out into a few peaks of sun by noontime though, but we won't be doing a ton of melting, I'll tell you that, because we'll have a persistent breeze. I'll have more on that in just a second here. In terms of how much snow we're talking, we haven't adjusted this map all that much, but a swath of four to eight inches, basically from Lion Mountain straight through the Tri Lakes, over a foot likely at Mount Marcy, lesser amounts, of course, as you get towards Westport, Mariah, and Port Henry, and of course, Ticonderoga. In the northern Champlain Valley, dusting to maybe an inch or two in places like Plattsburgh and Burlington. 8 to 12 plus in areas just south of Jay. I think Jay Peak itself will get well over a foot out of this one. Island Pond kind of in between that 8 to 12 inch range and Greensboro area. 4 to 8, Mad River Valley in that 4 to 8 category, and down into the 91 corridor, the White River Junction area, likely a couple inches at best there, but another jackpot snowstorm for the Southern Greens. How about that? As I mentioned, the wind is going to bite, especially on Friday. We'll see gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour out of the north and west through the day. It'll be pretty consistent, so that'll have a bite to it as you head out, and we might see some areas of uh, blue blowing snow and drifting snow. Here's a look at those wind chills in the single digits for most of the day. So dress appropriately as you head out the door for sure. On Friday, we see a brief warm up back into the 30s for the weekend with a few mountain snow showers and some rain showers incoming for the start of next work week with temperatures above freezing.